Hey guys, how you doing? This is EJ Uno coming back with some great Hasbro news. I have not done a Hasbro news since the last time I did a Hasbro news. Uh, this one is about different types of toy fair Hasbro news that is coming out. And a lot of stuff I wanted to talk about. As you have been seeing my other videos, I've been talking about NECA and all that other stuff. Now, the time, now it's time to t pay a little bit close attention to Hasbro Plus. Because um, I think... They haven't uploaded it, but they will be talking about the live stream for the G.I. Joe new figurines coming out. But we're just going to go over some stuff that they have been talking about um, with with uh, some some figurines that they have out right now. Now, one thing I wanted to talk about is they have the Star Wars. Okay, they have the Star Wars, the Vintage Collection, the Boba Fett's Throne Room featuring the prime detail inspired by Star Wars, the book of Boba Fett. They have uh, the Big Foot Tuna. And he's in a layer, and I'm kind of thrown out because I haven't been paying too much close attention about the Boba the Fett um, book. But this thing kind of caught my eye because I thought it was just really, really cool. So they have uh, Bib Fortuna, <laughs> if I'm saying his name, because I always get his name mixed up. But he's he's a cool character. I like him. I actually got him on the way coming to my house from Star Wars, the, the original movie, coming out. So anyway, so you see him in a vintage uh, collection figurine. He's sitting on the throne. Kind of in, kind of like Jabba the Hutt's type of um, one right there, and it actually looks like Jabba the Hutt's throne, but this one's a little bit different. And um, this one's really cool. Um, I did see the price on this thing at, at Hasbro Plus. I think this thing was like three, four hundred dollars, something like that. But the, the, but the layer is really big. I thought it was like, to tell you the truth, until I started looking at all the accessories, I thought it was like a Black Series thing for the price that they were putting on here. Because I think the price is a little bit over exaggerated because i don't think it's like worth this much but i do think that you know i think in the ranges of like a hundred dollars 150 to 200 dollars maybe but i know not not the price that they're putting on there but um but uh they but you know they you get him and he's on the throne room and then um you see a whole lot of stuff in the back so then they have in the next picture they have everything that comes with it which is like a uh, arch type of um stand and you have a pull out where um i don't know if that's like a trap thing or they just pull it out just just to let you guys know that it's uh they it's able to be pulled out then you got a whole lot of accessories from tables to um to like blankets to like uh food and uh, a rotisserie type of grill thing and then you have his chair which is really cool then you have him sitting inside the throne room right there and um, you see a close up of him. He's like, look like he's a little bit overweight. <laughs> yeah. So that, so that's pretty cool right there. So you, they got that coming out. Then um, moving, moving on from then, from there, from then, from there, uh, which I think it was really cool. Uh, you have eleven point two inch tall, seventy three point uh, transformer. The last night Optimus Prime that is looking really, really cool. This thing looking awesome, dude. And if I was into my Transformers like I used to, I definitely would be spending my money on this. But uh, he like he's gonna be pretty pricey. But he this thing looks awesome. Just the the blue and the the yellow and red detail and the so this thing looks awesome. D L X. So look, I mean that looks awesome though. So um you see you see him in different poses he has. He's able to be posed in a lot of different poses. This thing looks awesome. Um really really cool and um um I, i'm i don't even know i mean i'm sure they did put the price on this they said pre-orders available on hasbro plus and through april 12th so this thing looks awesome so i i'm definitely going to be checking out this um this i just want to i'm just interested in how much it's going to be you see he comes with a stand uh he comes with a sword he comes with six different often in hands see he comes with some other little pieces i don't know what that is but some more uh attachments to his sword so that that's really really awesome right there so that's that's really cool though i i i really want to check and see how much he is then um you have the raw the the wall crawls didn't see this coming the wall crawl. okay during the marvel legends live stream check out the new marvel legends series spider-man in his future foundation self suit so that's pretty cool though he kind of looks like the venom the venom um outfit so that's really cool though so you see him right there so that's that's pretty awesome it comes with two alternate different hands and this is from more of a legend series 
So that's so that's that's pretty cool right there. Um, one thing I'm excited about that I've been talking about I'm going to get, but I haven't got these yet, is the Marvel Legends series, X-Men 90s animation series. They have Storm coming out, which is one of the coolest uh, characters of, of the um, that 90s cartoon. And they have Storm, and she looks just like her. I'm loving how the art detail looks just like the cartoon, and they, they didn't try to change nothing about it. And it's just awesome. The big, poofy white hair, um, the cape. Um, I don't know if you want to call it cape or whatever it is. And then the VHS one, X-Men Storm. That looks awesome, though, right there. So, um, once again, they come in this VHS packaging that's looking really, really cool and um, really awesome. <laughs> she comes with two awesome in hands. And so, man, I mean, they're coming out with all these. And it says beginning of February 22nd which has already passed. You can get her on there. So these are really, really awesome on there. Uh, from another uh, more uh, legend series, they have the Iron Man. I, guys, I don't, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to put that on there, but I think they're making too many Iron Man figurines. I mean, that's one thing about Marvel Legends, why I stopped getting into it, because they, I felt like they just kept making so many different Marvel Legends. And they all were basically... They made so many, but some of them were basically the same. You know what I'm saying? And they, they really just weren't... I like collecting things that I think that are going to be like worth the money. And they're going to be limited edition. And sometimes just going to die out. Of course, they're going to remake it in the future. But you're going to have a moment of getting something that's rare. And not in this case. It's just like Marvel Legends, You they just keep on pushing out like water that it doesn't make it rare you know what i mean i, I like that I, I i'm one of those rare collectors um now they have blue marvel i never heard of him which if you guys saw any of my other videos why well, i stopped collecting marvel legends <laughs> i don't remember some of these figurines then they have um Madea, uh um uh, not Madea, um madam madama uh hydra or whatever i don't i don't even know who this is but she looks cool i like her greenness on hers Marvel's uh Quake, uh she looks pretty cool. She looks like Shriker or something like that from um from the movie. So that's pretty cool. Okay. So um the, and then they have uh Speedball, which is pretty cool. He looks like Mag he resembles Magneto's. He doesn't resemble, but just the name kind of makes me think of like Magneto's son, whatever. So that's pretty cool right there. Then they have uh US Agent. I do remember having him. I do. Um, then they have uh, Thor. <laughs> he looks pretty cool. Now, he looks pretty awesome. Now, I want to see, what is the builder figure on this thing? What, who is the... I'm seeing the. I'm seeing who they're building. And um, I don't know if this... If this is Thanos? I want to say this is... Uh, it looks like Thanos. I can't see who the name is, who they're building. But it, it looks like Thanos. You know what I'm saying, guys? So, that... So, you know what I'm saying? So... It, that's that's what it looks like. Okay, then this is one of the characters that I uh, that I was trying to get. I never had a chance to. Well, I did get this one from like China, and it was like so terrible. Or I know I think I bought it on eBay, and it was so terrible. And then it was from China, and they put they sent it to me in a plastic bag, and the thing that like, fell apart. It was it was crazy and, and disappointing at the same time. Um, is Rhino? They have Spider Man Retro Marvels Rhino. Now he looks pretty cool. He looks awesome. Like, these retro Spider-Man look really, really cool. Really awesome. So, they have Rhino coming out. So, that's really, really awesome. So, that's cool. That's cool. So, you know what I'm saying? So, they have him coming out. So, that's that's pretty awesome, though. Now, they have a Builder figure for um, Infinity Ultra. Um, and he... Um, uh, um, I don't know who is going to be the people who are going to be building him, but he looks pretty awesome, though. He looks, he, you know, just like in the movie. But um, it's just telling what what if. And, you know what I'm saying? I guess this is supposed to be like a little catch on. Okay, what if we made this? Would you guys buy this? So, you know what I'm saying? I mean, he looks okay. Kind of looks a little bit... I think they could have made his... His... Greatness shine a little bit more, but you know, hey, whatever. You know what I'm saying? So this looks pretty cool though. It looks alright. My cool just went down a little bit because it don't look, it don't look all like that. So uh anyway, so this was some Hasbro Plus news about some figurines that have been out, and you can catch this on Hasbro Plus. 
because they were for pre-order now. I'm sure they're up right now from the time you'll see this video for buying. So definitely go to Hasbro Plus. Go check this out. Some new figurines coming out. Thank you guys for looking at this video. And um, from start to end, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell button. Be back with more videos.